A 14-year-old boy has been sentenced to 11 years' detention for stabbing his supply teacher at a school in Bradford. And the court heard how the teenager used racist language before attacking the Nigerian teacher with a kitchen knife and then boasting about it to his friends on social media. Sky's Gerard Tubb reports now from Bradford Crown Court. Teacher Vincent Azoma was stabbed in the stomach in his classroom by a pupil. His message after the 14-year-old was jailed was extraordinary. As a Christian, I've forgiven this boy who has inflicted this trauma and pain onto me and my family. It was, however, important for the law to run its course and for a strong message to be sent out, especially to kids of similar tendencies, that violence is never acceptable. Our prayer for him is that he will make use of the opportunities and support that will be provided to him to become a changed person. The attack happened at Bradford's Dixon King's Academy in June. The boy, who can't be named, is Asian, and the attack was said to be racist. He used the N-word before knifing his teacher, who said he thought he was going to die. This was a shocking and very serious attack on a man doing a job he loved. And he was very lucky that the consequences were not more serious. His attacker showed no concern by fleeing the scene, which led to a significant policing operation to locate him. That operation ended in Bradford Town Centre with the boy's arrest. The stabbing had been sparked by Mr Azuma asking him to hand over his mobile phone. But the court heard the boy just wanted an excuse to knife him. In court, the boy, who has a criminal record and was on bail at the time of the attack, sat mostly staring at the floor with his arms folded. Sentencing him to six years in custody and another five on licence, the judge took into account an offensive rhyme he posted on Facebook soon after the attack, boasting, I stick the blade straight in his tummy. It's an appalling reflection on a small microcosm of our society, he said, that within minutes or hours after posting, 69 people liked it. How sick. He went on, you boasted about it before, you boasted about it after, then gloated in the presence of your classmates. The boy could be released on licence in less than three years. Gerard Tup, Sky News, Bradford. Well, let's go live now to Bradford Crown Court. Speak to this guy's Gerard Tubb. Uh, Gerard, there's the sentence, of course. There's also Mr Azoma's statement. But I suppose what makes one stop and think is just the sheer intent of a 14-year-old taking such a weapon to school and using it. And in, in, a, in a racist way, I think that's, that's the thing, which makes Mr Azuma's forgiveness here on the, on the steps of the court all the more remarkable. Uh, the judge made it quite clear that as far as he was concerned, this racial element was key, uh, as were a number of other aggravating factors, that he'd taken the knife to school that day to carry out this attack. And much reference was made to the murder of Leeds teacher Anne Maguire, which was just last year, if you remember. And obviously feelings running very high here in West Yorkshire. The judge made several uh, comments about it. He did say that this wasn't in the same category. This obviously wasn't murder. Uh, and the boy was 14, uh, but there was some considerable discussion about whether or not he had learning difficulties, whether and to what extent he was remorseful. Um, but the judge did say that uh, he has, uh, we have been here before, if you like. Um, and as far as the judge was concerned, he seemed to be implying that he was throwing the book at this boy. And yet this headline figure of an 11 year extended sentence is actually a six year custodial sentence. So, as I said in my report, with good behaviour, that boy will be out in 2018. Gerard, thanks very much indeed. Gerard Tubb there for us. Well, we're expecting this feature, this story to feature in tomorrow's papers, of course. We're taking a first look at them ourselves at 10.30 tonight and with the Daily Mirror's associate editor Kevin Maguire and the Daily Mail's consultant editor Andrew Pearce.